Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com Today we're gonna take a look on how to get the best definition possible when converting a photo to vector using image tracing options in Adobe Illustrator. First, I will start by showing you how usually many of us are converting their photos into vector using Adobe Illustrator. Easily, we will drag and drop the photo inside Adobe Illustrator. Then click once on the photo to select it and go to the top menu near to image trace button to change the tracing preset to high fidelity photo. Once you choose the tracing preset you want, Adobe Illustrator will immediately start converting the image into vector shapes. Once it's done, you need to click on expand to apply the conversion. Now, I'll go to File Menu, Export, then click on Save for Web to export the result of this conversion as a JPEG file to keep it as a reference for a further comparison. Before saving the image as a JPEG file, I'll make sure to uncheck Clip to Artboard, then set in the quality to 100%, and make sure that both options Optimize it and Art Optimize it are selected. I will name this image as Result1, then hit the Save button. Good, now let me show you another advanced way to convert a photo into vector and how we can get the maximum definition possible from image tracing options. And this time, instead of dragging the photo directly into Adobe Illustrator, I will first take the photo to Adobe Photoshop to enlarge it. In Photoshop, firstly, I will go to Image Menu and select Image Size. Now, what I'm going to be doing is simply multiplying the resolution of this photo to make it bigger. So let's multiply 72, which is the number or the amount of pixels per inch that compose in this image. Let's multiply it by, for example, 10 equals 720 pixels per inch. Now, this will make the size of the image 10 times bigger than before. Now, after resizing the image, make sure to set the noise reduction to 0% and select Preserve Details as a resampling option for enlargement, then click on OK. Now go to File Menu and select Save As. Change the Save As type to JPEG format. Give your image a name, then click on Save. In the window that follows, set the quality to maximum and set the format options to baseline standard, then click on OK. Now, let's go back to Adobe Illustrator and create a new document with the same size of the enlarged photo. Then let's drag and drop the resized photo inside the document we've created in Illustrator. After you drag the photo in Illustrator, you should fit it to the size of the document. Go to Window Menu and select Image Trace from the list. 
In Image Trace Panel, change the preset to High Fidelity Photo. When you get the following warning, just skip it by clicking on OK button. When Illustrator start the tracing process, just click on Stop, then uncheck the Preview box. Now make sure to copy the same settings as shown. Set Colors to 100. Set Paths to 100%. Set Corners to 100%. Set Noise to 1 pixel. And keep the other settings as shown, then click on Trace to proceed. Now, just wait until Illustrator complete the image tracing. You'll figure out that it will take a little bit longer time than the first method. And the reason why it's taken more time than before is because the photo now is 10 times bigger and it contains more pixels. And the more pixels you have, the more paths and definition you will get after the conversion. After it's done, all you'll need to do now is clicking on Expand button to complete and apply the image tracing. Now before we save the second result, I'll resize back this vector image to its original size before I finally show you a fair comparison between the two results. So, I'll select the vector image, then click on Transform. In the Transform panel, I'll make sure to activate the Constrain Width and Hide Proportions button. Then, I'll decrease back the width and height of the image to its original size. Good, now I'll go to File Menu Export, then select Save for Web. Make sure to uncheck Clip to Artboard. Also, make sure the Optimize It box is checked and the Art Optimize It is selected. Now, I'll click on Save, then name this JPEG file as Result2. Now, let's compare the two results. I'll drag the two results inside Adobe Photoshop to show you a live comparison between both of them. Now, when we zoom in, you can clearly see that the definition of the second result is better than the first result. Let's zoom in more. Again, this is the first result, and this is the second result. This is the first result, and this is the second result. I know you got it guys now. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and please don't forget to subscribe.